and hustle and bustle, you forget hearing the first song that really resonates with you. You forget being a fan because you're always trying to push the envelope. You're always trying to do something next, do something new. I think be a fan of music. If you're a fan of music, it will come out that way. Yes. I think Jimmy Graham yes. and Jay Lewis, they said it yes, um, Don't put pressure on music. He doesn't like it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He does not like it. So when you hear songs like these and the songs that you guys have written, like you can hit, just know, I'm in my car going stupid. The whole concert. Now in my car, I'm nice. <laughs> in my car, I, nobody can hear me sing. Nobody. So I gotta stand. We're going to my next song, right? Yeah. I'm glad Chris ended it on that note because this is one of the happier moments of my life. All right now. My Lord. This yes. Is one of the moments of my life. <laughs> and I'm giving you the life stories, and then I'll give you the artist and the name of the song. But the life story is, I met this girl. Mm, always a girl. <laughs> I'm a PK. I'm a bishop, so that's what I do. I, I met this girl, and I think, I, now I didn't overlook this song, but it's just always one of my favorite songs. Uh, my friend Brandon Goodell, my partner, we was doing here and somewhere, when we was trying to come up with the, with the list and stuff, he's like, yo, you gotta focus, you gotta figure out what you're gonna do. And I'm like, oh, just do blah, 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 blah. And, um, and I didn't mention this song, and I think he was like, so you're not gonna do, uh, the Michael Jackson record? And I was like, I love that song, but I can't be Michael, I can't be, you know what I'm saying, I can't be. Just you know what I'm saying? Nicole just got married to some shit on the stage. I mean, do that, you know what I'm saying? So, but this song is so crazy because we were in Miami, Florida. And, yeah, right? Miami and Alice, can we keep it going for two seconds? Where Miami at? Oh! Get at me, man. No. Okay, so <laughs> we were in Miami, Florida, at a place called Criteria Hit Back. And for this particular trip, um, we were called. And this is this is so much this story. This is why in coming up as singing songwriters, you really have to be true to music because you never know what's going to come back around. You never know who's going to come back. Absolutely. Um, in nineteen ninety-seven. Uh, Rodney and I met with a gentleman named John O'Cohen. And John O'Cohen uh, worked for a gentleman named by, by the name of Jerry Greenberg. Jerry Greenberg at the time ran MJJ, a division of Sony, he was late. Um, and he had a group called No Authority. Now, never mind that they never seen the light of day. <laughs> That's not the part of the story. But these two gentlemen were, we, we made such a great connection. And Jerry's like, you know what? I'm gonna take you guys to be Michael. It was like we kids. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it's that time. We, we're going to Neverland. And me, I'm from the hood, so I'm like, Jerry, stop lying, Jerry. You taking us to Michael House, Jerry? Jerry, you gonna take us? I'm like, stop. And he made it happen. And we went to Michael Jackson's house, and he wasn't there. <laughs> Took you there. Never, 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 never. Amen. <laughs> so some years later, <laughs> some, some years later, um, we get a call from a young lady by the name of Carol Bessack. And she uh, called and said, hey, I was with the cherry. And uh, now, I don't know if y'all know if y'all know who Carol Bessack is. You gotta Google it or something. Heavy. Heavy. V, you understand? And this, this, you can tell by the conversation. She says, I'm, I'm having a writing session at my house, at my home. And I think you guys should come through. Um, and just, you know, you know we, it's going to be very organic. You know, it's going to be a piano there. And I think David is going to come up, David Fox. I think David's going to come by. And, uh, you know, we're just going to be at the home. So just block some time out. And so we say, uh, okay, Carol, who's, who's the artist that's going to be there? Oh, it's Michael. Like Michael who? <laughs> then Jack will be at the crib chilling, right? So he's like, of course. So we go to Karen Van Sack's house, and the house is insane, of course. And the side story, she was writing out checks that day. She, Carol's not a flosser. But one of the checks she wrote out, it was like a payroll, and the check was like 60 grand. I'm like, oh, 